What's up, guys? So it's been a while, and I apologize for that, but uh, back with episode 6 of 7 Days to Die Let's Play. Um, so since the last video, I haven't done a whole lot. I have uh, added all of this in. If you remember, I added these uh, battlements over here, and I've started extending them out this way. Um, haven't gotten a whole lot done. I've only put in a few hours since the last video, but I need to get one out and uh, just haven't had a lot of time to put in. So that's what I've got so far. I could upgrade these right now, but uh, I was kind of running into a dilemma of I like to place my uh, Merlons every other block. And when I do that, though, it blocks his corner. So I got to decide exactly how I'm going to work with that. I'll probably end up just leaving them the way they are um, and see what happens. But uh, anyway. So today, I actually want to go and do some exploring. Uh, just do some scavenging and everything. So I gotta put some stuff up. I got crafting supplies in my pocket. Um, oh, I got everything running too. Okay, that's smelting. That's why. What is this doing? It's been a while since I played, so I'm trying to remember what it was all doing. Alright, so I'm just going to get some of this crafting supplies in my pocket, so I don't need, like, ghost cobblestone. Oh, shoot. That's full. Do I have anything that has space? That's got a little bit, but that's my weapons. Um, bring that down there. don't have a lot of room in any of this. Oh, I was just looking at that. Okay, yeah, I don't... Looks, Looks like I'm gonna have to make a uh, chest real quick. Nope. Uh, trying to remember what it's under. I think it's under building. I have like no wood on me. Hmm. All right. I guess I'm gonna go get some wood first. Shouldn't be too hard. I got trees right outside here. I think I used up all my wood uh, crafting those cobblestone frames. All right. All right. Now let's create a uh, secure wooden or just wooden chest or a secure wooden chest. Plates. No, I'm just gonna search it. Your storage chest. Okay. I just need one. Nope. Not what I meant to do. Now it's backwards. There we go. Alright, now I can put all this stuff up. I might want to keep some stone on me. Just in case I need to repair or build anything. Same with some wood. This can all go in there. Don't think I'm gonna need a shovel, but I'll carry. I keep. Uh, hmm. Don't really need the hammer. I've got the iron pick and my axe, so I think I'm good there. I don't think I'm gonna need quite all this food, so I'm gonna put some of this food up. Oh, and I certainly don't need all this medicine. Oh, I apparently had a room for that too. Alright, so now that I've got all that put up and I'll have to organize at some point later on. Um let's see which direction I want to head. Oh, wrong button. Still the wrong button. Hmm, I think I want to I haven't gotten real far in really any direction. What is that? 
Okay. Um, so I think I'm just going to head out this way, somewhere out here. Check that out. So let's get going. I don't have a mini bike or anything yet, which uh, kind of sucks. Helps me get around faster, and more importantly, it helps me carry more stuff. But I don't even have the schematic for it. I also need to get myself a wrench because uh, using a wrench I can disassemble cars and get some good stuff. I think I already alluded that. Um, and uh, get some small mechanical parts or something like that. Um, and I need that to make the workbench, which I need to make um, ammo. So, but I can't really get. I'm gonna probably just kill some of these guys so I don't get surrounded. Um, I can't get ammo. Uh, or sorry, I can't get the uh, small mechanical parts without disassembling cars. Nothing. And I think I can just hit them with a pickaxe and get a chance of getting them, but it's a much, much smaller chance. Will that kill in one hit? No. Yeah, it looks like it. I feel like I move so slowly. I've been playing a lot of uh, Black Ops 2. Well, I don't know about a lot. I mean, <laughs> over the last couple of days, I haven't had a lot of free time. I'm, I do a lot of overtime at work, and I've been working on a manuscript for my second book. But uh, in what little free time I've had, I've been playing some Black Ops, and I move a lot faster than that. Whoa. Go there for a second. So yeah, I need to get a video out. Um, I want to do something a little bit more interesting than just scavenging, but I always find those to be some videos that are kind of fun to do, and I hadn't done one for a while. And uh, like I said, I've, I've only put in about two or three hours since my last video, and uh, I'd gotten a little bit of work done as I had shown you guys, but uh, not, a, not a lot, nothing super impressive, and I certainly couldn't make a full video out of just showing that off, so. I need to do some exploring, and uh, like I said, sometimes those videos are just kind of fun to do. The one thing I wish they'd fix in this game is the sound effects. They are so... Awkward, I guess is probably the best thing. It's so inconsistent. Not, I don't even know inconsistent. They're just awkward. Um, and by that, I mean there's no sense of depth to them. So you don't like, by the sound of it, you can't tell how far away they are. Like it's either you're in range of the sound or you're not. And so it's, there's no, um, the sound doesn't like get quieter as you get farther away or anything. At least not to a significant amount. And uh, even then, it's it's not even like no sense of direction either. You know, if they, and if the zombie's right there in front of you, it it's just a full blown sound. It doesn't come from any one spot or another. And my final complaint about it is that there's no sense of quantity either. Um, like all that noise, it sounds like a bunch of them, but it could very well just be one. I mean, there's one zombie can make multiple noises that overlap. Oh, oops. Uh, that overlap. So you have different voices and they're overlapping. It just, like I said, it sounds like a ton of them, but it's really not. Oh, I just drank both those bandages. Not something I meant to do. Alright. Well, I, just, I still have these uh, first aid kits, and bandages aren't hard to make anyway, so if I need one, I'll use it. Alright. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Okay, I think that's ooh, just edges into the other room, so. Yeah, alright, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to go up this ladder. Well, that lighting is really weird. Oh, 
I'm dehydrated. Oh, probably from taking that uh, medication. Yeah, the light's like glitching through the uh, ceiling or floor or something. It's really weird. Anyway. Oh, what is this? What is this suitcase? Oh. Mm, I don't think I need that hat. Mine's 115. No, this is better. But then again, which one has more? Uh, I think there's a way to look at it. There we go. I'm looking for the hyperthermal. Insulation. So this one doesn't give me any insulation, so I'm going to keep wearing it because I don't want the uh, insulation. Yeah, I don't want that at all. Uh, I get pretty hot around here. That's why my I keep it. Uh, I keep it in my touch pad. Um, that's why I don't. I'm not wearing my sweatshirt or duster. I only put them on if I'm going to go into a fight or something, like a significant one. Alright, All right, so there's pretty much nothing in this house. So uh, let's get going. I didn't mean to actually grab that. If I could just get a wrench from this exploring, I'd be happy. And maybe a couple of the mini bike schematics, because I don't think I have anything for that. Yeah, I'm liking this uh, Club of the Mace. Normally when I play uh, Seven Days to Die, I go for like bladed weapons, but this time I decided just to go for a uh, blunt weapon since I never do. Nah, I'm certainly, I'm certainly like that I did. They're a little bit longer than the knives and they're uh, doing some crazy damage. So I can stay a little bit farther away and do massive damage. Was that a screamer? Please tell me that wasn't a screamer. Oh, that is. Yeah, I'm just wanting to explore. I'm not really wanting to get into a full blown uh, fight. Okay, I'm not saying anything. So I, uh, I recently, actually just yesterday, got a uh, new camera. Um, I guess I uh, yeah, and it can uh, shoot in 4K. So hopefully my videos uploading be, uh, that I'll be uploading will be a little bit better quality. Um, that won't really affect this channel too much since I do very little um, recording with an actual camera. Most of it's just with my PlayStation and recording the screen or scream, recording the screen and uh, some audio. Uh, but there is a, uh, the occasional one, like I think I did uh, an early one um, was uh, 
think in, like with an intro to uh, a video about Skyrim and then I did uh, one where I was actually sitting in front of a camera talking for uh, what I wanted to see with Elder Scrolls 6. Um, but I don't do too many of them, but it mostly affect my other channel. So I'm excited to do that. Unfortunately, I can't actually edit in 4K. Um, I think the program I can, I'm can i using to edit can do it, but my laptop isn't 4K. I got my laptop about three years ago, so um, 4K wasn't really a thing then. So, uh, yeah. But still, um, I was, I've been recording in 720, so I'll be able to, this will at least uh, downgrade it to 1080p. And it'll be even in a, an improved 1080p at that, according to my understanding. Of, I'm not real knowledgeable about cameras, but according to my understanding, it'll be an improved 1080p since it'll have those additional pixels to uh, force down into 1080p. Oops, wrong button. 115, 131. I'm not going to mess with it. Oh, I just went that way. Right. Unfortunately, I'm not saying anything really, uh, really good, but hopefully something will show up and uh, make it worth it. My glass is 279. So uh, instead of doing this video, I was actually just going to upload a uh, bit of a gameplay from Black Ops 4 since I've been playing that. I've been playing mostly Blackout. Actually, I'll take that stuff. Yeah, I've been playing mostly Blackout. Um, uh, which is like a, a battle royale. Um, and I had this one, I was playing quads, so it's supposed to be like teams of four, but I didn't get put in a team, so I just uh, got dropped in alone. And I dropped into firing range uh, with a, another team of four and I wiped them out. So I was just going to, I bookmarked that film and I was going to just upload that for uh, this week's video. And to give myself a little bit more time to do some other stuff. But uh, it wouldn't load. So that didn't happen. But uh, hopefully at some point I'll probably be doing some, uh, some of that just because. Why not? I don't want those. Um... If I'm going to be playing a game, might as well upload some footage of it. Um, it's not really a game I'm probably going to be uploading a ton of, though, because I feel like Call of Duty is just one of those that anybody who has a game channel just uploads tons of it, and that's majority. Some channels are focused entirely around that, and while it might be fun to watch, you know, somebody play um, a little bit of it here or there, I don't think it'd be fun to make that a consistent thing. Um... Not even for a let's play because it's sort of repetitive whether you're playing zombies, uh, blackout, or multiplayer. It's just kind of the same thing repeated. Um, let's plays seem to work a lot more for uh, uh, either story driven or uh, large or story driven games or large open worlds. I don't want that when I pick it up. Or uh, sort of crafting survival games. Yeah, so most of my uploading will probably just be maybe a gameplay video here or there. Um, and probably mostly it's just if I do something really cool, but it's not going to be a regular thing. So um, if you guys want it to be a little more regular, I can do that. But I, I get the general impression that most people probably wouldn't care for it too much. Just because uh, it's something everybody does. I really want to do a uh, let's play for Fast and Light. It's uh, basically a st if you in case you don't know what it is, it's a strategy spaceship game. Um, it's only for PC, but I do have a PC, so I can get it. Um, and I think it, I've seen some play gameplay of it. it. Looks really fun. Um, the only reason I haven't gotten it so far is because. Uh, I'm already doing a Skyrim Let's Play and a 7 Days to Die Let's Play, so I didn't really want to overload myself and throw that in there. 
Um, but that's it's a relatively short game. I think you can play through the entire thing in like two or three hours. So I think it'd be a great let's play for uh, my channel. I thought I heard something behind me. Anyway, I think it'd be a great let's play for my channel just because, as I've mentioned a million times before, I like doing a, one long sort of continuous let's play and then another short one that's, you know, four or five episodes and then done, or maybe ten episodes. So I think Faster might be a great addition to that and would really fit that uh, sort of criteria well. Um, plus it looks like a fun game. Um, I also am really trying to get out um, a review for Trickster VR. And I know I said I was going to have it out in a couple days, like in my last um, episode. I think it was my Skyrim, uh, my most recent Skyrim episode. But uh, that didn't happen. I haven't even played it since then. I really need to, though, so I can beat it and do a review. I mean, I've got the gist of it now. I'm most of the way through the game. And uh, the levels are pretty much repetitive, which is something I'll talk more about in the review. Um, so I've basically could do a review on it now. However, I haven't unlocked all the weapons, and therefore I haven't used all the weapons. So I figured it'd probably be best just to beat the game, get all the weapons unlocked, mess around with them, and then, uh, then make my assumption or I uh, make my uh, judgment I don't really want these I can make these so easy I'm just gonna scrap them I can make those easy too scrap that don't care for that I can get rid of these plant fibers I don't need them I can get, get those easily um anything else you know it's good oh that's Ah, shoot, no, I don't All right. Grab that. Get out of that menu. Move it down here. Let's go ahead and eat these. Believe it or not, I actually caught my uh, wellness back up to like 100 or so, and then I died again. So it seems like every time I get my wellness up, um, something happens, I immediately drops back down. So I'm like, oh, whatever. I'm really not too worried about getting it up there just because for reasons like that. I'd much rather focus on other things. Some. I, I go through so much of it making that metal trussing as uh, part of the problem. Is I, I generally try not to use up all my metal, uh, or at least all the iron I have in my uh, forge in case I need to make weapons or armor or something. At a moment's notice, I've got a little bit in there to do it, but I've been going through so much of it making that trussing that I, a couple times I ran out completely and I had to go get some more and smelt it and then ran out again. Particularly hard to get in here, but it's certainly not very rewarding when I do. I would like to see something where I can maybe, you know, I had to break through, you know, two iron bars, which have a thousand health each, and then I get some lead and some bullet casings. Like, wow. But uh, anyway, I think I'm almost positive it's just a random spawn, so I. Not really easy to uh, dictate any of that. Oops. Well, there's some cars here, so maybe I'll find a wrench. I feel like this is a place if anywhere I was gonna find if I was gonna find a wrench anywhere, I feel like it'd be somewhere here. Um, don't really care for that shovel. I'll take gunpowder. Well, the gunpowder is so much easier to get and make now than uh, compared to what it used to be before the update 
is because um, you didn't find it a ton, and when you did, it was just in quantities of like one, two, three, nothing significant. And you had to have nitrate powder to make it. Nitrate was so much harder to get, and even in coal, it wasn't really hard to get, but it was a lot more scarce than it is now. Now, just while harvesting those uh, small rocks that you get a lot of metal from, you get it. So it's not anything particularly rare anymore. And I'm not complaining, that's really good. It made it, you know, is really kind of, hmm, do I want a couple of bullets or do I want like two bombs? That, you know, if there's so many items that use gunpowder that it was kind of almost not really useful having them uh, in the game simply because you aren't gonna use a lot of them. But I'm glad they fixed that. Never can have too many feathers. Normally I pick up those fuel barrels, but I am uh, don't have a whole lot of inventory, so or a whole lot of free room in my inventory, so I'm not messing with them right now. No, oh, if I know that take me back outside, I wouldn't even mess with breaking it. with the challenges. Alright, I got... Th I didn't, really wasn't wanting to scrap these uh, bullet casings just because I'm probably going to end up turning them back into bullet casings. But now I've got three different forms of brass and it's taking them too much room, so... I'm not going to scrap those, though. I end up dropping all these jars too. I got enough of them. I don't really need them taking up space in my inventory. It's one of those things where I, like, I'll take them if, you know, carrying them around is no problem, but if I need space, they're one of the first things to go. What is this? Mega Crush. What is it? I have no idea, but it sounds cool. Oh, my room. Ah. Uh, get rid of stupid glass bottles. Alright, I'm not sure it's going to leave me outside or not. I don't think so. I think the entire back of the building was stone, so. Yeah, okay. Those crates usually have something good in them, so. Hopefully, I get a wrench or something. Hmm. I'm gonna take the handgun. I got plenty of handgun parts, and they're much, much higher than that. Absolutely nothing. No, of course not. I think it's one of the um, difficulties about uh, random gen is because, I mean, even in Nav's gain or however you pronounce it, um, a lot of your loot is still randomly generated, but I, f uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I feel like you get so much less loot in a random gen. Plus, there's always the possibility of um, not being any so near any sort of significant source of water or food or something like that. It's always a risk. Um, but that's part of it, I suppose. If you don't know what you're getting, it's not just a matter of making it harder, but you very well could um, create a world and end up finding it's missing some significant resource. I've had that happen several times, and it just... It, but you don't realize it until several hours in. So it's not a matter of, well, it's difficult because the resources are harder to find. I mean, you could put 
10, 20 hours into it before you finally figure out, hey, there's no clay anywhere. And I've had that happen. Um, where actually I filled in, eh, I'd be lying if I said the entire map, um, but I, I filled in the majority of the map. Um, between me and a friend I was playing with, we filled in the majority of the map and nothing, no clay anywhere. And so, uh, I mean, at th that point we had quite a bit of time in, and so that was really annoying. Um, I mean, clay is a pretty significant resource, so when we didn't have it, it was, uh, oh, oh, they're running. Oh, there we go. You die, you die. for the oil it's just for repair kits repair kits I don't find to be that useful at least last time I've used them I haven't used them a ton actually I haven't used them all in the uh, uh, since in this map in this gameplay uh, I'm not gonna mess with the fuel right now I really want a uh, mini bike, but I think I want. To, I think I have to craft parts of the mini bike at the uh, um, station too, uh, the or the uh, crafting table as well. And that's something that changed quite a bit since the uh, the update. Before that, it, the crafting bench was literally the, the exact same thing as your backpack, and I thought it was really stupid. I was like, well, okay. The only advantage is if you're crafting something in your backpack and you need to craft something else, you can instead of waiting on a queue, you can just go started crafting at the workbench, but other than that, and it was kind of expensive to make. Um, but now it's a lot more, actually it's necessary now. And uh, it's a lot more expensive to make too. <laughs> I just think the uh, repair um, kits would be a lot more useful if they repaired more than they do, like without lowering, or at least not lowering the overall stats of it as much. I want this to. And if um, you could use it on more, I think you can use it on like basically your mini bike and some guns, I think. Um, but it doesn't even work on like a wrench. Like I've got a wrench, but it's it's completely broken and I can't repair it because you can't use um, you can't use a repair kit for it, which really sucks. Got about a million headlamps. Oh, I do not want. I don't really care for the law. Uh, yeah, and multi bread's useful. I'll get rid of my stone. And I'll come down here and scrap that. One thing I, um, I really do like about this game, and I, I know I'm making a lot of negative points about it while I'm playing. I do the same thing with Skyrim, but no, I do like the game, obviously, as I'm playing it. Um, one thing I do need, or do really well is it's a crafting survival game, so you have to like not only craft things, but scavenge. And um, that's something I really like. There's so many things that like you have to scavenge for that you can't just craft. Um, and I consider scavenging different than resource crafting. Like, um, that's something like with Ark is there's no scavenging. I mean, you can if you're online, you're raiding other people, but that's not really scavenging, that's raiding. Um, and there's plenty of resource collecting, um, but it's as far as actual like scavenging, there's almost none of that in Ark. 
And in this game, there are certain things they make you do that. Because um, I don't think you can ever craft the wrench, for example. You have to find those, which actually really sucks, considering uh, how hard it seems to be to find them. And so you're forced to go out and look for things instead of just assuming they're going to be there. Or, or instead of just you know collecting resources to make them until you're forced to go through these houses. But it does get a bit annoying and tedious when you've gone through five or six houses and found nothing other than cloth and duct tape. Some of the stuff I would take if I had an open inventory, but since it is so, my inventory is almost full on. It's not worth filling it up. I can get rid of that cloth too if I need more room. <laughs> That's super easy to make. I keep trying to open the doors. Yeah, there's just nothing in these houses. Like, that's got to be, what, the sixth or seventh bookcase I've found in this video, and I've gotten nothing out of them. No, well, I take it back. One time I got two chainsaw schematics, which I already had, so, it, but the fact that I have them isn't really relevant. They did give them to me. So, yeah, I got two chainsaw schematics. <laughs> I'm still well. I didn't go very far. I wanted to go out this way, and I just kind of let's turn back around. Head this, actually head out. Uh, I take it back. Um, might have to do that off camera or something because um, it's about time for the end of this episode, and my uh, my inventory is full. So even if I went out there, it's not like I could carry anything back. Um, so I apologize that nothing really interesting happened in this video. I, in fact, nothing really happened at all. I wanted to do a little bit more scavenging, but um, it just didn't really happen. Uh, I, with um, out of mini bike, moving around is pretty slow, and uh, I'm limited to inventory, so I have to spend a lot more time managing that inventory instead of uh, scavenging. So that sucks, but. Um, it's been a while since I got a video out and I've been needing to get one out. Again, I apologize for that. Um, so it's just a kind of quick and dirty video. Um, hopefully, the next video will be something a little bit more entertaining. And I try to throw in some other things um, in between these Let's Plays. So you're not just getting a Skyrim Let's Play and then a 7 Days to Die and then Skyrim and 7 Days to Die. I try to throw in other things in there such as uh, um, just to mix it up like reviews over games and... Uh, uh, you know, like the one where I talk about uh, what I'd like to see in Elder Scrolls 6, different things like that. Maybe throw in some uh, Black Ops gameplay, as I mentioned earlier. Again, something just to mix it up so it's not boring. You're not just getting these two videos. And um, I do notice I, a lot of my uh, gaming videos, I get more views than I have subscribers, which is really good, with the exception of my Let's Plays. And um, I suppose that's probably, I would, at least I think, due to the length of them and I know with myself when I 
have these YouTubers I like to watch. It might take me a few days if I ever get to watching their videos that are 30 minutes, 45 minutes, simply because I don't have a lot of time. Um, so, uh, so I try to release some, sh uh, release some shorter videos so they're not all 45 minutes, 30 minutes, or whatever. But um, as always, thank you for watching and uh, keep an eye out. Hope that I'll be uploading some other videos to this channel that are not just uh, Let's Plays and stuff. And um, if you are subscribed to my other channel, um, check that out um, or keep an eye on that because I'll be having some uh, new videos uploaded soon. Um, and I've got that new camera, so hopefully things will be a little bit better quality. And I'm releasing some new stuff. I'm not doing just so much... Uh, fantasy weapons and armor um and i'm not doing just uh or sorry i'm not doing just fantasy weapons armor analysis and analysi analyses analysis i don't know i'm not just analyzing fantasy weapons and armor um i'm also posting uh things more related to my writing i'm posting vlogs and uh some book reviews so keep an eye out for that if you aren't subscribed to that channel and any of that stuff sounds like it interests you uh make sure to check that out it's uh just Rebel Hero 96 is the channel. Um, same as this one, just without the gaming. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching.